Welcome to Season 4 of Nature Meets Paper. What's going on everybody? My name is Brandon. I'm a marine biologist and an artist. Welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. I love sharing my passion of the ocean and its creatures with you through art. Nature Meets Paper is a place where I share my experiences with aquatic animals with you through stories, science, and art. It is a place for everyone who loves nature, adventure, and discovering something new. In this season, we're going to be discovering animals from New Zealand, from Hawaii, and my home state of Washington. But today, we're going to focus on the blue penguin. Are you ready? Let's dive in. The little blue penguins have a range from Australia to New Zealand. They live along patches and colonies in the southern and eastern coasts of Australia, as well as the coast of New Zealand. They live on land during the night and spend most of the day foraging in the water. They leave the land before dawn and return after dark. Blue penguins are so small that they don't dive very deep. On average, they dive up to 2 meters for roughly 21 seconds, but have been recorded at depths of 20 meters for a total dive time of 60 seconds. In Australia, the blue penguin is most commonly known as the fairy penguin because of its size. In New Zealand, they are known as the little blue penguin or just blue penguins. They get this name from the blue colored feathers on their back. Blue penguins are the smallest penguin species. They grow to 13 inches tall and 17 inches long. It is important to remember that these numbers are averages. Individuals can be larger or smaller depending on the subspecies and environmental conditions. Let's discover what the blue penguin looks like. The head and back of the penguin are covered in blue to slate blue feathers. The blue can intensify or fade depending on light conditions. Bright sunlight brings out the best blues. Starting at the chin, the feathers turn a slate gray color and turn white near the neck all the way down to the feet. Blue penguins have light pink webbed feet with soles of black. Like humans, they have different colored eyes. They can have blue, slate, which is kind of a dark, almost black color, or even hazel eyes. Like all penguins, their wings have been modified into flippers. These are the primary sources of propulsion through the water. Penguins are elegant and move easily through the water. This is not the case on land. Let's just say they do their best on land. Penguins can run, jump, and even climb up rocky shores if they need to. It may not be the most graceful way of transportation, but it does the job. What do blue penguins eat and how are they doing? Blue penguins eat clupeoids, cephalopods, crustaceans, and the occasional jellyfish. That is a bunch of jargon that doesn't really help you know what they eat. Let me help you out. Clupeoids are a group of ray fin fish, including sardines, anchovy, herring, and sprat. These are incredibly important feeding fish that are also used by humans. Cephalopods are animals like octopus, squid, and nautilus. Crustaceans are animals like crabs, shrimps, lobster, and krill. They have a hard exoskeleton in several segments. I hope this helps you imagine what the blue penguin eats. How are they doing? I use the IUCN red list to track how animal populations are doing. You can do the same online. As a group, the population of blue penguins is listed as least concern. Some populations are facing some pressure with human interaction and habitat loss. But there is evidence that populations have increased by 18% as of 2016. There is a large effort to help protect the blue penguins. There are even large ecotourism opportunities to see these penguins. The more we can get people aware of what is in our world, the more they will care about our world. This brings me to my personal story segment of the video. This is not my experience. It is one of my sisters. 
she's allowed me to use her stories and photos as reference for this season. She went to New Zealand's Southern Island for a month of backpacking with her class. There, she got to explore the island and learn about its history and surprising connection to Hawaiian culture. She was able to visit a penguin colony that was managed by a group of people. She was lucky enough to see baby blue penguins and a few adults. While on a hike, she got to experience a blue penguin in the wild swimming and trying to get back on land. It was a bit clumsy, but it did it eventually. My sister really enjoyed her trip to New Zealand and would love to go back. If you get the opportunity to go, keep your eye out for the little blue penguin. Thank you for letting me tell your story and use your photos. I hope the painting turns out how you imagined, maybe a little different. As far as this adventure goes, I will call it finished. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this content, click subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you can be notified when I post new videos. I do my best to post every new content every single weekend, but sometimes life gets in the way. All of my art has either glitter, pearlescent paint, or glass bead gel medium. This way it plays with the light in, in interesting ways and gives my art more life. I sell my art in the forms of originals and prints, so if one of my pieces speaks to your soul, you can own it. Just contact me. I post regularly on my Facebook. Instagram and Twitter. Thanks again for watching. I've been Brandon and I'll see you in our next adventure.